여자친구야 and welcome back to a brand new Korea vlog. I woke up in Seoul and I'm starting my day with a protein bar in bed, best ever, and my Jeju water that I got at the airport yesterday. So if you haven't watched the previous vlog yet, then I urge you to watch that one first. <sighs> Guys, I had such a lovely day already yesterday and today is going to be even more exciting. I have to admit that I didn't have the best night of sleep. Maybe you're able to tell from my face. Um, maybe I look a little bit tired, but they have Netflix here on the big screen. So I just spent my whole night watching XO Kitty because it takes place in Seoul and I love that series so much. So uh, yeah, I binged watched that, finished it, and then I just couldn't sleep because of all the excitement. So today, the very first thing that we're doing is go to the Banyan Tree Club and Spa. Um, it is one of the most luxurious hotel resorts here in Seoul, so I'm really excited. And I'm going to go to their spa for a treatment, so I'm really, really happy with that. Today, it's going to rain the whole entire day. That is what my weather app says. So not really too happy about that. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be all rainfall. But that doesn't matter because I'm just gonna, you know, do that spa treatment. Then probably do some shopping. And um, then I'm going to meet up with somebody really exciting in the afternoon. But you will all see that in this vlog. I'm just gonna munch on my protein bar, get some energy this morning, uh, drink some of my lavender tea that I took with me from the Netherlands, and like have a relaxing start. It's um, 7 a.m. right now. Can you guys even see that? Yeah, it's picking up right now on camera. So it's still really early, so I can just, you know, relax. Yesterday I was way too tired for this, but now I sorted out all my beauty products and I put them here so that everything is nice and organized in my hotel room. And yes, I know I'm in South Korea. I can buy all this stuff here for way cheaper, but I just wanted to bring my own skincare routine um, in advance, even though I'm probably gonna shop loads more. But yeah, here you can see some of my essentials. Oh, this looks so aesthetically pleasing. And now it is mask time. This, you guys, is such a cooling mask. It's from Beauty of Joseon and I can highly recommend it. A Centella Asiatica mask because obviously I need to look extra pretty today. Oh, how I love pamper sessions like this. Okay, my lovelies, I am ready for the day. This is my outfit, this super cute romper. Um, this is from Fashion Nova. And of course, I'm also wearing these Karomi socks. I mean, gotta love those. And now, first and foremost, it is time for breakfast. Let's go to GS25, guys. First of all, a little basket. This is J Park's Soju, you guys. And they have this to-go version, so obviously I have to get it. Then one of these with tuna and mayonnaise. It's still raining a lot, but I don't let that kill my mood. I see all these videos on TikTok where people are making these drinks with like the cups with ice and then coffee and banana milk. So needless to say, I wanted to try that myself as well. So I got those things and I'm going to make that in the hotel room. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay guys, let's make my drink. I have my tripod set up here for the TikTok. Obviously gotta participate in these trends. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see how this tastes. So in case you guys don't follow me on TikTok or Instagram yet, what are you doing? No, just joking guys, but really follow me on there as well. But in case you don't, I've also included this clip here. So we gotta crunch the ice, take off the lid, and then of course add this amazing iced hazelnut. Guys, this drink is heavenly. 
than the banana milk how aesthetically pleasing i don't know why but this makes me so calm watching this back and then of course the straw we gotta stir everything and there you have it guys the most perfect drink you will ever find 10 out of 10 recommend guys i think the tiktok turned out well and mm, together with that banana milk and the combination with the hazelnut this is heavenly i definitely get why everybody on tiktok is hyping this up because it's phenomenal mm. so um yeah gonna drink that one and then of course i have my kimbap really good i love tuna Okay guys, let's get in the cab and let's go to the Banyan. So this is a six-star hotel located in the Namsan area and surrounded by trees, this is the perfect sanctuary for a quick escape from the hectic city life. When I arrived, I was seated in this gorgeous waiting area and wow, I felt at peace right away. I made it to the Banyan tree guys and I'm now waiting in the relaxing area for my spa appointment to get started and I'm so excited. I just can't believe that this is actually happening. I've been looking forward to this for such a long time. And I'm sorry if I'm speaking a little bit more quiet, but obviously this is a very peaceful environment. I got a welcomes tea. I first needed to fill out this form. And now this is my welcome drink. Cheers, guys. Oh my god, that tastes so good. It's rose tea and I love that. They have this robe here and this sarong and oh my goodness guys, I'm so excited for this. Oh, the lady told me to wrap around my sarong and I put my hair up in a bun obviously and I'm ready for this. Look how pretty the bath is you guys with all these flowers. This is insane and of course I got some tea again. This is hot tea and some nuts. And then this, you guys, is the massage area. Beautiful painting. And that's the relax area. guys it was so amazing and now it is time for a shower this is the gorgeous shower it's a rain shower obviously with their signature products so i'm now outside waiting for access to the pool area which i'm also really excited about this is already such an amazing day so because it was pouring rain the sweet people of the banyan decided to drive me there by golf cart and then when i arrived in the pool area i actually didn't mind that it was raining because all the pools are heated they have private cabanas like this which i enjoyed very much two big pools and of course a jacuzzi Pool time is over guys and now they have this whole area with all these different amenities to get myself together again, fix everything. Oh my god, this was so much fun. And now my loves, we have arrived at the Gentle Monster Store. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be here. Um, gonna see if I'm gonna score some sunnies today. So this was my very first time in a gentle monster store guys Can you believe it? Obviously because it was my first time in Asia, but I was so super excited I went to the one in Apujang in the Sinsa area and they had so many different models to choose from It was really hard to pick one favorite I really like these brown ones, but they didn't really fit the vibe that I was going for as well as these purple ones You know didn't really fit the outfit and then these ones were from the new Bolt collection, also really beautiful, but I decided to go for these. These are the Odo ones, that's what the model is called, and guys, even if you don't go there to buy sunnies, you have to visit this store. It honestly looks like a museum, artworks everywhere you go. And then they asked me to go to the 5F counter where they modeled the sunnies to the shape of my head, so they like completely resized them, which was so amazing. 
and then the lovely lady packed everything up and i was so happy with my new purchase oh my gosh i can't believe it i actually have gentle monsters got my sunnies i'm so happy with them oh my gosh and all the people there in the store were so friendly um and now I don't really know what I'm going to do next. I really want to visit the Bongunsa temple and I also really want to visit the Coex mall, but I don't know if I have time for that because I will be meeting up with somebody very special tonight. So yeah, I'm just debating what I'm gonna do now. Okay guys, I decided to grab a taxi and by the way, these are my new sunnies. I'm so happy with them. And now I'm here, finally, the Coex mall. I decided that I do have a little bit of time for it. So um, let's go. Tata here it is and I mainly want to see the library here uh, which coincidentally was also featured on XO Kitty but I've been wanting to go here for the longest time um, but yeah I have to find where it is because now I'm in this section and I think that this mall is pretty big so uh, yeah wish me good luck with finding everything and oh, I'm so obsessed with my sunnies guys oh my gosh we are here look at it it's really here the Starfield library and it's so big okay this is insane oh my god it's so gorgeous wow this is so cool guys they change the artwork all the time so during spring there were like cherry blossoms and now it's a super big tree and as you guys can see it's so crowded here wow oh my goodness i can't believe that i'm actually here this is so cool this mall is so big that you need these giant maps to find where you want to go and i want to go to daiso so right there okay it's right here guys I found it I found Daiso yay it's right here this is my first time in a Daiso can you guys believe it oh my goodness guys look at all this stuff we have care bears and of course the Sanrio items oh my gosh okay I have to get this one for sure look how cute she is okay I'm gonna get this one for my friend Micah because her whole vibe fits Kuromi so well oh, she's gonna love this look how cute this my melody is guys I can't say no to her I'm afraid okay she will go home with me as well oh, she's too cute and then these things for my friends for photo cards and super random but this one for Pomi Then after Daiso I went to the Bongunsa temple this Buddhist temple was founded in 794 during the reign of King Wonsong. I always wanted to go here, especially to light a candle for my late grandma, but also to look at the giant Buddha statue. I've been trying to learn a lot about Buddhism recently and it was such a special moment coming here. Of course, all the lanterns were still there for Buddha's birthday and the white lanterns are for those who passed away and the colorful lanterns are to bring good luck as well as these bracelets that people put on the Buddha statues. Guys, my Daiso bag broke because of the rain and now Micah's Kuromi is on the ground but Oh my god, I just noticed, like, I was walking past it and then I noticed everything falling out of my bag. Oh my gosh, but I have her. I'm with Jack! Surprise! Welcome to Korea! Welcome yeah. to Crocodile Warehouse! We're in the warehouse. Okay, yes. look how big it is, guys. It's insane. Oh, you are the first person to visit from overseas. Yeah? yeah oh, I'm, I'm a VIP. <laughs> oh look how cool okay these are all the freebies you always get with your order mm -hmm. look how nicely sorted it's really organized the team members they are working very hard yeah of course yeah, yeah. oh look at the magazines you guys oh, yes. ah, this is the, the new recent. one yeah. yeah oh look how this one is so beautiful 
I got this one, an unboxing is coming oh, on that one. <laughs> yes. I think it was sea version, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, All right. yeah, they, they put it here. I think this was the most famous one. A yeah, color. I like that one as mm -hmm. well. But I love the painting here. Yeah. So beautiful. Okay. Oh, I'll just make a call. Yeah. You, you Jack is going to make a call for the reservation for the yes. restaurant. These are all the photo books, the photo folios, and this is what it looks like. So we have all the albums and they all get stored at Look Stray Kids, Levanter. And yeah, guys, that was my special uh, person that I was going to meet tomorrow I will meet another special person but yeah one of the reasons why I actually came to Korea is to meet up with Jack so um, I'm really excited that I'm here and that I can finally show you the Kokodai warehouse here's the office we have about uh, 10 people oh here. 10 so employees many the office workers so here is the uh, conference room oh. where we have a brainstorm yeah brainstorm or if somebody visits coco dive we see them here in our monthly meeting oh yeah it's held in this, this is the important room guys yeah. we try to make it in purple pink and, yeah that's yeah, cute uh, the view is nice as oh, well yes, it's very beautiful, look at the view guys yeah. oh. <gasps> oh, we're so high. I love it. Look at the mountains. When the weather is great, oh, it's yeah, then you can see very yeah, firm. Unfortunately. And finally, my room. Yay! Ah, you got the luxurious sofa. And, oh, oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> and RJ, of course. Oh yes, RJ. Oh. Nowadays we are having what is it? The uh, mystery random. Oh, photo it's so pretty. It. So I tried to put great photo cards for you. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Yes. Ah, look at the play button. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh yes. you applied for it. Yeah, this. I applied for it. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, look how cute this area is. <gasps> oh my gosh, with the cacao characters. <gasps> I love it and the pink, so cute. The idea was all about, I mean, all from Erica's. Hand. Yeah. Okay. E She's Erica, get the, the credits. She is not here today. Okay. This. Okay. <laughs> so after finally visiting the Kokodive warehouse and office after three years, yes, guys, I have been a Kokodive employee for the past three years, which is insane because I had never met Jack in person. So after we finally met, we went to this amazing restaurant and it was Jack's pick. So props to him because I have always wanted to try an omakase experience. And for those of you who aren't aware, omakase is a Japanese phrase used when ordering food. That means I'll leave it up to you. So it basically means that you leave it in the hands of the chef. So with this experience, the chef prepares all the food in front of you. It's all made of fresh ingredients. He prepares it with his bare hands and oh my goodness, this was probably the best restaurant experience I have ever had. All the dishes were so amazing, exquisite, so to say, and we enjoyed ourselves so much. Jack and I talked the whole night, and guys, this dessert, it was the year of the rabbit, and they made a little rabbit, and this custard, oh my god, best ever. Hello, my fenders. I am home. Well, home. I'm in my hotel room, but it kind of feels like home already. And oh my goodness, this day was so extremely special and I can't even comprehend everything that has happened today. Um, of course, the spa experience was more than amazing. Of course, thanks to everybody at the Banyan Tree Hotel Resort and Spa. Um, they were all so extremely lovely. And then of course, seeing that amazing Coex Starfield Library felt so surreal. Um, of course, the temple. I've had that on my list for a while and actually at the gift shop, 
I bought some gifts for my mom, this very special incense that they use outside of the temple. And she said, you know, you should use this outside as well so that we can always be reminded of that and burn this on our balcony. And then I also got a good luck keychain for good fortune for my mom from the temple and all the proceeds of these gifts go to the temple directly. So that feels really good giving back to them. Um, and then of course the highlight of my day meeting Jack and eating omakase. I have been wanting to eat omakase for the longest time and now finally this happened. Uh, finally I met Jack after three years. I've been working for Kokodai for three years now which is insane and we caught up so happy to finally meet in person. Um, honestly one of the best nights ever and probably the best food I've ever had in my entire life. I'm not even joking guys, every single dish was amazing. And the chef prepared everything for us, he handmade it right in front of our eyes. And I think what I love the most is that we were able to pick out our own sake glasses and Jack let me pick and of course I picked the Sakura one with the cherry blossoms because you know, cherry blossoms have my heart. And so they actually brought out a whole matching set. I thought that it was just going to be that glass but it was a whole set and uh, Jack complimented me the entire time like oh my god you made such a good choice by picking the cherry blossom ones because oh those are so cute and the food was so delicious the dessert with the custard and the little rabbit because it's the year of the rabbit that's why they did that so amazing um, I think my favorite was the tuna belly from all the sushi that I had um, yeah I really loved the tuna belly so so much also we had shrimp and those were according to them the third best shrimp on the entire planet uh, that is crazy I can't believe that I've actually tried that and uh, of course seeing the coco dive warehouse that was so special seeing all the albums, seeing the new magazines, uh, seeing Jack's office, the kitchen where they spent all their time. I'm so happy and so grateful for this day. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much for watching. I love y'all loads. Bye bye.